and stunk the blue ribbon away games are still a problem for the Natives boys. Only one win in five games has stalled Liverpool's bid to overtake Manchester United. And tonight they'll be looking to regain the winning habit against the Charlton team who struggled at the Valley all season. Well, both these teams like to get the ball down and play. So there certainly promises to be an entertaining 90 minutes of football here. OK, time to bring you all tonight's team news. Charlton have been hit by injuries to defenders Jonathan Fortune and Chris Powell. They're replaced by Chris Perry and Jonathan Spector, respectively. The other change from Sunday's defeat against Tottenham sees Jerome Thomas, who came on and scored in the game at White Hart Lane, preferred to Darren Ambrose. The absence of skipper and leading scorer Stephen Gerrard with a knee injury is a major blow to a Liverpool team that also has to cope with the loss of their first-choice goalkeeper, Pepe Reina. He's suspended after being sent off against Chelsea. Jerzy Dudek takes Reina's place in goal, and Rafa Benitez goes with a strong attacking lineup. Gibral Cisse, Peter Crouch and Fernando Morientes all start together for the first time. 15, it's Peter Crouch. 18, Darren Ambrose. Alan Kirby hasn't enjoyed much success against Liverpool in his 15 seasons as Charlton's manager. He'll be hoping to get one over Rafa Benitez tonight, who, despite his defeat against Chelsea at the weekend, has now won half his Premiership game since he took charge of Liverpool. Liverpool in their change strip, ready to get us underway. They have an excellent away record, but it doesn't seem to extend here to the capital city since beating Charlton at the Valley a year ago. Liverpool haven't managed a single win in London in their last eight visits. Andre Mariner is tonight's referee, by the way. Charlton down to 13th in the table following their defeat at Spurs, and Liverpool are now six points behind Manchester United, having played two games fewer before tonight. Crouch taking the early ball on the chest, and back to Finnan. Xabi Alonso, uncharacteristic sloppy pass from him. It's just a quick mention on the lineup of the two teams, Alan, both playing 4-4-2. Wasn't quite sure prior to the game in which position my old Birmingham player Brian Hughes would be playing, either left or on the right. In fact, he's actually playing as a central midfield player, which is a little bit of a surprise. He's going to team up with Smertin. Thomas is coming on the left-hand side, and Kishishev on the right. And Charlton win the first corner of the game. Just over a minute gone. Opportunity for Horaidesen, a mighty muscular figure, and young Spectre, the uh, on-loan player from Manchester United, to get forward into the opposition box. And Crouch, very much the tallest in there, dealt with it. Kishishev keeping possession and getting it back from the skipper, Luke Young. Right start this by Charlton. Alonso now wins it back for Liverpool. And a good ball for Kuehl, yet another of the out and out attacking players in this Liverpool lineup. And we have to check as the uh, touchline was getting closer and closer, and he's delighted to win the corner. Good track of back by Brian Hughes to try and help his fullback Luke Young, but also good play from Harry Kiel. He kept possession and won his team a corner. And he also seemed to injure himself slightly there in the process. That will be a concern for the Liverpool bench so early on here. Sammy Hupia still looking for his first goal of this season. Then and knocks it back in over Hupia's head as it happened. Then in there again for Liverpool. Carragher, Crouch the target, and he probably had more time than he realised there, Peter Crouch, goal kick. He's now gone seven games without scoring Crouch, remember it took him 19 matches to finally get off the mark for Liverpool. I'm not quite sure what he was trying to do there, Alan, because it was a nicely flighted ball from Steve Finnan to uh, Peter Crouch, very accurate ball. Liverpool had a number of white shirts in the penalty box. All he had to do, had to do was just to head it back across goal. 
And he looked to try and bring it down. Obviously the wrong decision from Peter Crouch. Yes, Merton, another of the on-loan players uh, figuring in this match. He's a Chelsea man. Sissoko. Cissé in that wide right position where Liverpool have used him frequently. And the ball over the top for Bent to pursue. Callagher knows he's there. Darren Bent teamed with Marcus Bent, of course, in the Charlton attack tonight. There's a lot of reasons why Darren Bent want to do well tonight. Posing at the other end is Peter Crouch. And two of them, I think, are vying for a position on that plane to go to Germany for the World Cup. Undoubtedly, Owen, Rooney, probably Defoe, their places are already in Ericsson's mind. There's certainly room for at least another one, possibly two. We may be looking at a couple of players here who could be on that plane. Morientes winning the throw-in for Liverpool. He scored in their 2-1 win here last season. It was, in fact, his first ever Liverpool goal. Usual big following for Rafa Benitez's team. They're all behind the goal that Liverpool are attacking in this first half. Kiel's layoff to Alonso. And Traore, who's been restored at left-back. Played about a dozen games for Liverpool this season. Preferred there to... Uh, either Warnock or John Arnorisa, who's on the bench. Kiel, Sizoko, there's a good strong challenge to win it back by Hughes. Now Thomas, rewarded for his uh, excellent display and goal as he came on as a substitute of the weekend. Here's Cissé. He was a bit optimistic and he didn't really catch it. Yeah, one or two of the Charlton players having a word with Brian Hughes. He rather delayed giving the ball, caught in possession by Morientes, who released Cissé. But then the shot was wild and wide at the goal. A really optimistic effort from Cissé. He blows hot and cold. Certainly on that occasion, he was very cold. by Sizoko, not the best, went straight to Kishishev, Smertin crowded out, Crouch plays it early, Spectre had to keep his eyes on the ball there, and with Cissé bearing down on him, away by Sammy Hoopier, Liverpool have taken just five out of the last 15 points, and they really need a win tonight, Cissé for them, Crouch in the centre, here by Perry, Thomas, Finn and Stein very tight and doing well to win the ball back, Morientes! Certainly Liverpool the dominant force in the opening minutes. Great tackle from Finnan. Ball comes in. And a good effort this from Morientes. Side foot volley. Fortunately for Mara, it was straight at him. An easy save for the Charlton keeper. Now Kuehl. Liverpool get another free kick to the horror of Perry and the home fans. I thought that was an excellent tackle from Chris Perry. Harry Keel knocks it in behind looking for Crouch. Certainly Crouch goes to ground, but I think Perry took the ball quite cleanly. He tapped this one to his right for Cissé, I wonder. He has. Very predictable, I'm afraid. And Charlton read the plot. Well, if you could see from up here, Al, it's no surprise that the two Charlton players spotted it. Absolutely. Hope yeah. Smertin, dangerous header back towards his own penalty area, and now Morientes for Liverpool, Spectre got there first. You just get that sense, don't you, that Charlton are hanging on every time Liverpool go forward. If they were to score, it wouldn't be a major surprise. 
Alonso. Perry's headed clearance over the head of Bent. And Luke Young's over hit that one. Charlton down to 13th after their defeated Spurs. They've drawn both their previous games against Chelsea away. And West Bromwich Albion here. And it's surprising, really, that they've gone off the ball because they began the uh, campaign so well. Four successive wins, remember, in the Premiership in August and September. But their last 14 games have produced nine defeats. Much better football, though. Young. And to Sammy Hoopier. Kill our oh, brilliant piece of skill to deceive Kishishev. And a very good ball for Cisse. He decided to let it bounce. Still gets his cross in though. Over the head of Morientes to Kewell. Crouch on the far post. Was he bundled over? That's what the Liverpool fans are shouting. Nothing given. And in fact, it's a goal kick now. My first impression was that Crouch was pushed from behind by Spectre. Lovely flighted ball there from Harry Kill. He knows exactly where he wants to put it. Why would Crouch go to ground? He was about to head it. The referee was well positioned. Mr. Mariner had a good look at it. But I do feel that Spectre is a little bit fortunate to get away with that push. First contentious decision of the night. Half an hour gone. Thomas shows his lightning pace. Kishishev. And the former Arsenal winger has possession again. Oh, a little Cristiano Ronaldo. Crouch being booed now by the home fans, who believe he was uh, trying to win a penalty a few moments ago. Gives. Just got caught by Cissé, free kick. The look would suggest he disagrees. But Brian Hughes just got there a split second quicker than Cissé. Cissé, as he put his foot out, was invited by Brian Hughes to go over it. And really forced the referee to give a free kick. Spectre. Headed on by Marcus Bent to Darren Bent. Carragher got back. Good defending that by the uh, Stanley Liverpool skipper tonight. Steven Gerrard back home on Merseyside with a knee injury that could also keep him out of the weekend. And the Liverpool fans already singing the name of Robbie Fowler, who's amongst their substitutes tonight. Kishishev. As Robbie Fowler continues his warm up in front of his adoring fans. There's a decent header on, and Darren Bent had enough pressure on Dudek to concede the free kick. Look at Dudek's position, he's on the penalty spot almost. He wants to come for the cross and he has to go back. And when the header comes in, well won by Ryderson. He's heavily challenged by Darren Bent. And once again, Dudek elects to try and punch. But quite clearly, it is a foul from Darren Bent. Ryderson's head to Kuehl. Volley pass first time to Cissé. Uses clearance. Liverpool win it back. Xavi Alonso for them. Space down the left for Traore. 
It's good pressure by Charlton, forcing Liverpool all the way back to Dudek. Morientes with a wonderful header straight to Cisse's feet. And again, he uses his pace against Spectre. Kiel. Alonso to Sizoko. Carragher. Liverpool continue to dominate possession here. Asufia finds Crouch on to Morientes. Sizoko, good block by Hughes. And Charlton can't get a sniff of the ball at the moment. They will now. It bounced once. Hey, hey. Liverpool's throw in. Charlton's home form has been a big disappointment for them this season. They've suffered six defeats here at the Valley. No team outside of the bottom three has a worse record than that. Again, Traore opting to let the ball bounce. And Alonso there to help him out. Excellent defending by Perry. Played on by Hughes. Hookier's clearance finds Alonso. Now Traore for Liverpool. Crouch. Morientes. Oh. Considering the amount of possession uh, Liverpool have had, it would be a major disappointment to them that with ten minutes of the first half remaining, they haven't tested Mura really in the uh, Charlton goal as yet. Absolutely right, Alan. I was about to say that they've dominated possession. But count how many clear-cut chances they've had. Very few. Almost been the story of Liverpool's season, that hasn't it? Oh, great play by Sizoko, and he's still going strong. And in the end, the linesman who couldn't have been better placed says he pulled the shirt of Young Spectre. It's good defending once again from Spectre. We've spoken about the pace of Cisse, but equally so, Spectre's got good pace. And he's certainly read the intentions of Sizoko there. throw Charlton have kept uh, clean sheets in four of their last five home games despite their overall disappointing record at the Valley they haven't had in many goals but they haven't scored many either just uh, 13 in their 12 home games in the Premiership Crouch. Oh, Moriensis has just uh, left the space he headed it into. Hughes. And Thomas. Easily won back by Sizoko. Alonso onto Crouch. The tackle. But Sizoko and Alonso a strong pairing in the middle of Liverpool's midfield. And Kiel operating well down the left. There's Alonso again. Tries to pick out Cissé, Mura's ball easily. Yeah, rather optimistic that from Alonso, off balance. With his least favoured foot, his left. It wasn't the best of passes. Carragher's clearance has gone straight to Thomas. Yeah. 
people doubling up on him, but he still finds a route through to Smertin. Now Marcus Ben, Shishek beaten to it by Kuhl. Could be a good ball that Cisse. Alonso. That's the kind of ball Cisse thrives on. And he got there well and couldn't quite find Morientes. Good defending. Excellent play that all round. Lovely one-two between Cisse and Alonso. Superbly weighted the ball from Alonso into the path of Cisse. Delivers it nice and early. And Morientes would have been on the end of it if it wasn't for that man, Horidason, who made up a lot of ground to slide him with a timely tackle. Morientes, Rupia, Morientes again, all the way through. Sizoko and leaves it, uh, leaves it rather to Traore, who at least tested the keeper. But not much of a test. No, in all honesty, Alan, I think the shot from Sizoko was probably going wide. Harry Kuehl wasn't best pleased because he was uh, free on the left-hand side, screaming for the ball to feet, but Sizoko probably as a result of the number of uh, the amount of possession I should say that Liverpool have had he's probably felt that somebody's going to have a shot sooner or later and he took it upon himself well just five minutes of the half remaining Still goalless at the valley. Here's Alonso. Oh, he's lost possession rather too easily then. How costly will that prove to be as Kishishev looks for Darren Bent. Dudek made a big decision, and that decision has led to a penalty. Dudek raced off his line, he was probably right to do so, but as he collided with the Charlton striker, the referee immediately pointed to the spot, and for all Liverpool's protests, it won't count for anything. Well, it's the first occasion that Darren Bent has beat the offside, times his run well, lovely flighted ball. I don't know what Dudek's doing out, out there, it's a lovely clip ball from Kishishev. There is contact there. Dudek, a good 12 yards off his line, it would probably be a yellow card. Well, if it isn't, if it is red, how amazing would that be? It is yellow, having had one goalkeeper dismissed at the weekend. Hearts were in mouths then on the Liverpool bench. It was not the first time tonight, Alan, that I've mentioned about Dudek being off his line. He does like to come out on this occasion. He was trying to read the ball from Kishishev. But Darren Bent won a penalty, and now he's got the chance to convert it. Well, we all remember his heroics from the penalty spot in Istanbul. Can he reproduce them here in South East London? No! And completely against the run of play, it has to be said, Darren Bent gives Charlton Athletic the lead. If Darren Bent was involved in the penalty, and he's the man who stayed so cool to convert this one. It's credit to him, there's a long delay, he kept his nerve, and it was lovely placed in the corner of the net. dudek has gone the wrong way, absolutely no chance. Good penalty from Darren Bent. It looks as though Carragher continued his complaints rather too long and too vociferously. And having just been shown the yellow card, he took a risk then pursuing the referee. So Liverpool concede a goal, have two players caution. And then to the first half of them, now Cissé has gone down as though injured. And the referee has been a busy man in that top pocket in the last few minutes. is going to be the latest to be cautioned. I just saw Sammy Hoopia there complaining too, Alan. Are they complaining that it wasn't a foul by Dudek, or are they complaining that Bent was offside? 
and certainly no complaints about that challenge from Thomas. It was an easy decision for the referee. Three cautions in three minutes. Alonso's free kick. It's come out to Cissé, the clearance, and Smertin may have handled the ball then, right on the edge of the box. Another decision that's gone against Liverpool. And then a foul by Smertin, it's uh, getting uh, lively here, and he points to the evidence that his shirt was the first to be pulled. Handball claim. No, not for me, Alan. The referee's got that right. He raises his right arm, suggesting that he was looking to handle it, but quite clearly it came off his chest. And Mr. Mariner was spot on with that decision. And Liverpool hit back before the half time whistle here. Well, they might have done. The ball sailed clean through that crowd of players, and Harrison and Crouch are having a real set too. Well, the ball actually takes Peter Crouch by surprise. Harry Keel goes to ground looking for a penalty. I don't think it was one. And Crouch, he also goes to ground, but the ball, as it was whizzed in from Alonso, really surprised him at the back post. Well, it's been reasonably entertaining, but not very eventful for 40 odd minutes. And now it has really come to the boil here in the last five minutes of the first half. Benitez will be fuming, Alan. Absolutely no way should Liverpool be behind, but they find themselves behind. A mistake from Dudek. The fourth additional team takes a statement of two minutes additional time to be played. Sizoko going in hard to win it back and concedes the free kick. He's got to be careful, as I mentioned earlier. He's on nine cautions for the season. The Liverpool midfielder. Well, Rafa Benitez's team beat Charlton home and away last season. But they've got their work cut out now to get back into this one. Thanks to Darren Bent's penalty. Perry. Young's clear and straight against Crouch. Smertin. Hooked clear by Kishishev. Haridason. And the referee inadvertently blocked that clearance. Alonso. Here's Kuehl. Run back well by Young. Hughes. Somebody who has slipped over at a crucial moment then. They're certainly battling hard here, Charlton, and it's turning into quite a physical contest, this. I think the half-time whistle will, won't come too early for the referee. Needs a calming down process. Perhaps one or two of them need a cold shower just to calm the nerves because it's all of a sudden as we leave it there a smirting plays it into the near post oh it is a superb goal by luke young unbelievable at the valley for 35 minutes liverpool dominated possession but in the last five minutes charlton have shown them how to score goals well, you have to ask the question, just where does Luke Young come from? Good ball in from Smerton, here goes Luke Young, straight through the legs of Dudek. It's a terrific shot. But what great anticipation from the fullback. He saw the chance, he drove into the box, the ball fell for him, the shot was excellent along the ground, through the legs of Dudek, and that's an unlikely scoreline in half-time. It certainly is. Well, Charlton have a thing about penalties, they feel they don't get anywhere near enough. But the one that was awarded when Dudek fouled Darren Bent proved to be enough to give them to the, uh, the lead here. It was only their second penalty in the last 61 Premiership games. They were ecstatic about that.
and then the place went wild when Luke Young, the skipper, arrived to slam them into a 2-0 lead here. And Liverpool have got some enormous problems to sort out in the second half. It's Charlton Athletic 2, Liverpool 0. Good atmosphere at the Valley as the referee checks his watch. And the second half gets underway. Charlton have not conceded a goal in their last three home games here. And that's a measure of the task facing Liverpool in the second half. The last visiting team to score here was Arsenal on Boxing Day. And that was also Charlton's last defeat here. Straight away, Liverpool, two down, and have conceded a free kick. Madison has been a form in Liverpool's side from these set pieces all night. And that doesn't reach him. And Liverpool can break quickly here with the swift Gibraltar Cisse. Brushed aside by Perry. This is a good example of a defender just willing to take a yellow card. Chris Perry knew that the pace of Cissé was going to take him past him, just stepped in front of him, clear obstruction. So Perry becomes the fourth player to be cautioned in the game. And the other three all came in that spell just before half-time. Liverpool have been in a bit ineffective with their free kicks so far tonight. Can they do better with this one? They need to. As Alonso tees up Kewell. I think that might have hit his own player. Back in by Finnan and away again. Essential that Liverpool make a good start to the second half here. Kewell. Played in towards Crouch. Perry got it away, Alonso. Alonso got lucky, playing it straight against Jerome Thomas. Now the skipper Carragher, one of those Liverpool players, cautioned. Crouch's header, got the wrong side of Fernando Morientes. Foul by Finnan on Thomas. Liverpool have only scored 12 away goals this season. When you think that their closest rivals, Manchester United, have managed double that total on the road, again, it just uh, indicates where Liverpool's real problems lie this season. And they've got to find two just to rescue a point here. Head injury, and the referee will stop play immediately. There, Marcus Bent up against Sammy Hoopier. Binnett. But Iderson's clearance. And that's a Liverpool throw. Morientes battling and wins possession, but not for long. Ryderson, good ball for Marcus Bent. Oh, what a ball that was to his namesake. Who gets the cross in and the Bent double act almost produced another Charlton goal. Smirt it. Wonderful play this from Charlton. Just what a ball this is from. Marcus Bent with the end side of his right foot, plays it wide at Darren Bent, one-on-one -on -one against Carragher. Just look at this for a cross. Well, we wondered when we'd see him. Now we know. Robbie Fowler about to be introduced. 13 minutes gone in the second half. I don't 
think he'll need to draw him a picture of a goal. He knows what they look like. Cissé. He's a good ball in. And Charlton continue to defend well. Darren Bent. Pushed over by Hukia. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? Because the referee looked at that, shook his head. He didn't think it was a free kick. But then the linesman raises his flag and it forced the referee into giving a free kick to Charlton. Perry's clearance, not the best. But Liverpool can't do anything with the gift. And to the delight of the travelling Liverpool fans, Robbie Fowler is about to enter the action. Will he be Liverpool's saviour? It's asking a lot of him, that's for sure. Still two behind here. Traore takes a tumble, Liverpool get a free kick. Fowler will have to wait a little longer for his introduction. Plenty of white shirts. Certainly got, oh, sorry, I was going to say, yeah, he's got plenty of targets. There must be nine Liverpool players in the box here. Yeah, would you believe it? He bypasses the lot of them. Once again, just like the free kick, some couple of minutes ago, the moment it leaves his foot, it's, it's overweighted. Another wasted free kick from Liverpool. The crouch goes off to be replaced by Robbie Fowler. He had half an hour against Birmingham recently. And his second coming as a Liverpool player. And he's done half an hour tonight. Traore under pressure here from Darren Bent. Very nervy clearance by Dudek. And Liverpool win it back, Morientes. That's good pressure from uh, Charlton. Young chased a long way to get that, and a very good ball for Ben. Oh, what a magnificent effort that was. It deserved a goal. Talk about anticipation, and just look how quick Darren Bent is on to this. He realizes that the covering defender Jamie Carragher is coming across. He wastes no time, hits it nice and cleanly on the volley. Dudek beating all ends up. Fantastic effort from Darren Bent. And it was very nearly game set and match then. There by Hukia, he's got away with it on Marcus Bent. Now the Liverpool fans are staying loyal, making as much noise as they can to try and inspire their team. But there's a long way back for Liverpool in this match. His first touch is not a very successful one. Smirtin. Thomas. Trying to attempt thinning into the tackle and having none of it. Hughes. Spectre. Away by Carragher. Hughes is there again. Given away by Morientes in midfield. Good ball from Horidison to Bent, on to Smirting. Good football left by Charlton. Darren Bent now. Oh, lovely stuff. Marcus Bent against the inside of the post and out again. And Darren Bent still there. Now the flag has gone up. And Charlton so unlucky. Once again, Darren Bent times his run in behind the Liverpool back four. It possibly may have been offside, but give credit to the... Charlton forward, who's got the intelligence to look up, picks out his partner, Marcus Bent, who puts his shot against the post, inches away from the third, that's twice now Charlton a bit the woodwork, 
in the space of two minutes. Risa. Cleared by Perry. Non-stop barrage on that Charlton penalty area. But crucially, Thomas Muir has had little to do in this half. Sissoko. Alonso wins it back for Liverpool. Now Cissé. On to Morientes. Good save. Well, he hadn't had much to do. And when he was called upon, he did it well. Great play from Liverpool. Lovely crisp pass from Alonso. And CC does well. Slips it down the side of Spectre for Morientes, who drives it across goal. A little bit too central. But a wonderful save from Thomas Myra. It was a stinging shot from Morientes. Corner has cleared everybody. And Thomas brings it away for Charlton. Good skill. And then Kishishev presented it back to Finnan. Who in turn gives it back to Charlton. Well, a former Everton goalkeeper has denied Liverpool the chance to get back into this game. Yeah, it's a good save for Mara, but probably Morientes would feel that he should have scored. Difficult angle, though. Alonso on to Fowler. It's a clever ball for Cromkamp. Now Sizoko. Well, that just about sums up Liverpool's night. Alonso shot way off target. Great ball from Fowler, good run from Kronkamp inside the fullback Spectre. Cross is blocked, comes back to Sizoku, just strokes it across, invitingly for Alonso. And once again, the shot doesn't trouble Myra. And we've said that enough times tonight. A very disappointing night for Rafa Benitez and his Liverpool team. Still going though. Haven't given up. Spectre. Straight against Sizoko. And Crom Camp. There's no room though. Charlton uh, hunting numbers. He want to get his cross in. Sizoko leaves it to Alonso. He got the shout from behind from Morientes, but it all went wrong. And we're into the last minute. Good ball for Cromkamp. He's wasted it. Three minutes of stoppage time will be played. Good ball forward by El Kakuri. And Kishishev. Well, the uh, Liverpool defenders were looking for an offside flag that never came there. Well, Darren Bent and Lukian were both onside. Kill. Finnan. Alonso, Carragher, 
Useful ball. Morientes tries to get on the end of it. And Risa. Alonso again. Kiel. This is Oko. Just stumbled and fell, really. Traore. Charlton hold out quite comfortably, really, as Alonso tries his luck from long range, and Lura has got away with mishandling that one. Don't want to do that with Fowler coming at you. I think he was just teasing Robbie there, wasn't he? Speculative shot from Alonso, all of 35 yards. Carragher. Morientes. Now Cromkamp. Easy for the Charlton defence. Finnan. And we're in the final 60 seconds now. Reset. Clever cross. Finnan. Now from camp. This will be Liverpool's final attack, I would think. Carragher. Going a long way round, but he has won a corner off Darren Bent. The only thing Liverpool get now would merely be a consolation. Finnan. Kewell strikes it through the crowd of players and one. Not even a consolation. Once again, Alan, another set piece wasted by Liverpool. Two on one situation, they should have exploited better than what they did. Harry Kew goes for goal with a shot, and like so many tonight, it was way off the target. Liverpool's capital curse strikes again since beating Charlton here a year ago. Rafa Benitez and his team haven't managed a single win in now nine visits to London. And this, of course, their second defeat in the capital city in the space of four days. 2-0 at Chelsea, 2-0 here at what's a very happy valley tonight. Much-needed win for Charlton that will take them a couple of places up the table. A serious setback for Liverpool, who have now managed only one win in their last six games, five points out of the last 18 at stake. Jamie Carragher still unhappy with referee Manina. And this game really exploded into life in five minutes towards the end of the first half, when Liverpool conceded a penalty, a rash challenge by Jerzy Dudek on Darren Bent, who slammed home the resulting penalty. A marvellous goal by the Charlton skipper Luke Young. And for all Liverpool's possession in the second half, Charlton defended and defended comfortably their two goal lead. Final score Charlton Athletic 2, Liverpool 0. And here's what it means in terms of the league table. At the top, Liverpool remains six points behind Manchester United, and they now have only one game in hand an opportunity to close the gap has been thrown away. Charlton remain in the bottom half of the table, but this win lifts them two places. They go above Everton on goal difference and now have a 13-point gap on the relegation places. Well, Charlton's home form has been a big disappointment this season, but tonight it was Happy Valley for them and Capital City torture again for Liverpool.